Now we are going to balance the standardization and mutual adjustment. And I will again try to bring uh, through two examples of the companies. And one is going to be the example of accounting. Accounting company. And another one is going to be some programmer team company. So programming team or programming company. So programming team. So, what is going to happen in some accounting company when you are some newcomer? So, here you are and you just came to the company. So, you are a newcomer. Newcomer, you are going to go through some process of socialization. So, socialization. What is this kind of process? Well, you are adopting some uh, rules and norms. So you are adopting some rules and norms and norms. And I will talk a little bit more what these two words mean uh, later when we get to it. So you get to your office, you get to your table, and now you, let's say, get uh, some list or some paper where there are stated uh, the things that are expected from you. So there can be stated, let's say, five things. So here is the thing number one, number two, or let's not lose time, so there will be three things. First one says you what kind of shoes you should wear, and I will change the color, so you should wear some black shoes, so black shoes. Then uh, that you should wear a suit every day. So you should wear a, we are accounting company so we really should be very polite. And that you should say hello to everyone you, who you meet. So these are the strict rules that you should follow because they are written down. So I will write it right here. So rules are formal formal and written and written and then there are some other things within the company maybe you meet your colleagues and so let's say this is going to be some your great colleague who is becoming your friend and then as you are on a coffee with him he tells you some things that are you know unwritten and that are some kind of norms in the company so that norms norms are unwritten or there are standards of behavior are standards standards of behavior of behavior and there can be maybe that there is a coffee um, every Monday with uh, with your colleagues so there is some coffee and maybe some other rules and now this is this is going to be what you are expected to do so I will draw some some sort of a sun over here so this is what your company expects you to do and to achieve so now you get to some uh, task so this is going to be your task and that there are uh, one two three four five six things that are necessary to be done and then you are in accounting company where you are really following some standardized norms so you have some standardized rules and norms so standardized so that now when you got this list uh, where it is written what everything you should do you simply follow what was written there and you solve the task according to this document so maybe five of the six things are uh, solved through through the paper and then you you learned some norms and maybe thanks to that you are able to solve the last one so, but I will a little bit change my drawing and I will do it this way. So, the fifth one you solve through the norms which are in your company and the last one is left upon your own decision. So, here will, I will put a questionnaire here. So, here will be your own decision. And now we are moving to the second example where you are a newcomer again. So, here you are, newcomer and you come to some programming team company and you do not really receive some kind of list you rather receive uh, much more about uh, sorry wrong color you rather receive some paper or some uh, 
more description of where are you going to get so here can be some some paper or some briefing about where you are trying to get and you also have many colleagues with which you are in contact and they really advise you about many of the norms so here are going to be many of unwritten or informal norms so again you are going uh, to, to receive some task as you are in your job and there will be one two three four five and six things but now you didn't really receive the paper so you will solve part of your task according to the unwritten and informal norms so maybe one two three well, let's say just two are going to be solved through the company and then the left uh, the, the rest is left upon you so here everything is going to be questionnaire so you will decide about the rest so maybe you are uh, supposed to develop some program so you will really put something from yourself into it so what is the difference right over here well just imagine uh, the the companies which I have brought as an example in accounting company it is really expected from you that uh, you will always do the same job as you are not supposed to be uh, creative with the numbers whereas in a programming team uh, you are expected maybe to develop something new and maybe the whole aim of the company will be thanks to your mutual adjustment or through the adjustment that you have made when solving your task so maybe the whole aim of the company will be now moved and they will become greater and greater so the company will be developed or will be expanded just thanks to you so this was the difference we have had some standardized company where we really follow some rules which are some formal and written and then we have got some norms in both kinds of the companies which are uh, let's say some standards of behavior so hopefully this was intuitive and see you in next video